It's my last day in Napoli today, so I'm going to spend the day uh, wandering around taking photos because I love photography. And that's it. So I've just been walking around taking pictures and Napoli Festival is super photogenic, like it's a really gorgeous city for photography. Um, but as I'm walking around, I also like listen to music as I find it like inspires me. But um, as I'm walking around, there's always like mopeds and scooters and motorbikes coming down these narrow streets. And honestly, you feel the rush of wind as they go past you. It feels like a near miss every time. to have lunch at my favorite vegan restaurant in Napoli. Yesterday I thought it was gonna be my last meal there and so I told the owner um, that I promote his restaurant on my channel. It's called Un Sorriso Integral and it is a vegetarian restaurant with loads of good vegan options including seitan and tofu. Loads of dishes with seitan and tofu. So um, I've eaten it three times so far so this might be my fourth time. And the owner is so sweet. Yesterday, I said it was my last day and he gave me a hug. I'm getting pretty tired. Um, I'm just gonna walk around a little bit longer, take some more pictures and then I'm gonna make my way to the ferry terminal, the port, um, where I'm getting the ferry to Sicily, to Palermo. Little travel secret of mine, or I don't know how much of a secret it is, but most people tend to go to like the main road when they look for food. Um, they tend to go to the main kind of tourist strip and go to a restaurant there because they found it on TripAdvisor or just Google Maps or whatever. But a little secret or a little pattern that I've noticed in lots of places is the best food is actually one road over from the main road. So go to that main strip, the main tourist hub, and then go one, maybe two streets away from it, parallel to it. And you tend to find the food is better, a lot cheaper, and <clears throat> it's just a nicer vibe overall. You kind of get away from the tourist halls. Um, yeah, so that's what I did today and that's what I've done in general as I've been traveling because the um, places right on the strip, right on that main tourist bit, wherever you are, tend to be like a lot more expensive um, and because they get so much business anyway, they don't really try as hard, I find, with the food. That's the end of my time in Napoli. I was a bit worried because there was nobody around in the port um, except for this one massive group of school children um, and now I'm in my little designated area and it's so empty it's actually only one other person here <laughs> I'm just having a little wander on this ferry and there's actually like way more stuff on here than I have normally seen on ferries there's like a ball pit for your kids in that little kids area, there's an arcade, there's a restaurant, a cinema.
arrived. Oh my god, I'm tired. I had about three hours sleep. Um, it is cold and wet in Sicily. changed and then I just collapsed <laughs> um, I am shattered but I have a couch surf coming to meet me <laughs> I can't help myself so I'm gonna go meet uh, the couch surf guy from Palermo and probably get some food and try and survive the rest of the day and have a really early night. <laughs> 